Hi everybody, my name is Wes Griffin. My pronouns are he and him, and I am the brand spanking new administrative director at Be Local PDX. That makes me so happy. I had an applause break in there, <laughs> so I was gonna wait, but I didn't have to. And I won't have to take any points off your next impact assessment, which is good, which is good. This is a celebration. <laughs> no, um, I have no authority over that whatsoever. Uh, our mission and my job at Be Local PDX is to build community among certified B Corps in Oregon and Southwest Washington to foster and deepen connections among the organizations in our region who share our purpose and passion for using business for good. We know that when we build connectivity, which is our theme of this conference, building connectivity, between as many diverse and amazing companies as we have represented here today, when we support and learn from one another, when we challenge one another and tackle our challenges together, we not only grow the movement, but we amplify the impact that each of us is working really hard to make. So, you may be able to tell two things at this early juncture as we're all getting seated. And one is, this guy ain't from around these parts, not originally. I am a Southern transplant to Portland who, like my Baptist preacher father, could take one of these pages and turn it into an hour, okay? You're going to hear from me plenty today. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to some wonderful folks, past and present board chairs from Be Local PDX. All right, oh, how's that? Booming? Good? Okay. All right, hi everyone. Um, my name is David Kale. I'm the former, no wait, Wes bet me $20, I wouldn't say that. Um, I'm Cameron Medill. I was the original board chair of Be Local PDX, um, one of the great honors of my life. Really excited to introduce this uh, conference, one of my favorite events of the year. Our theme is connectivity. So I'm going to start with a just little kinesthetic activity. Um, if you don't want to participate, you can just put your hands in your lap. See how this works with a microphone. You can take your left hand, put it on your right shoulder. Take your right hand, no sorry, your right hand, put it on your left shoulder. Just give yourself a little hug. So that's what connectivity with ourself feels like. Um, kind of the opposite of how that word gets used a lot in this like digital device driven age. Um, now take your hands and take that X and just drop them. And if you're comfortable, just grab your neighbor's hand and give him a little squeeze. <laughs> All right. I don't know everything that's going on in the audience, but uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, so that's what connectivity with others feels like. And I love this theme because for me, that's a lot of what has always made B Corp so special, despite the certification and some of the wonkiness, which I also love. Um, one of the first things I learned about the B Corp community is just how relational it is. Uh, I had a, a B Lab staffer when we were talking about starting B Local PDX who said, I've never seen a community of people so relationship driven and that B Corp is all about elevating people just as much as profit in the other parts of our society. So to tell you a very brief story about where B Local PDX came from, I have to go way, way, way back into the future before pandemics, before a worldwide movement for racial justice, before even the Trump administration. And in 2015, uh, Portland, Oregon hosted the Champions Retreat, which is the international convening of B Corp leaders. And it was an amazing event, and I was one of several newer B Corp people wandering around saying, this is incredible. Who's organizing this? Uh, and the thing was, no one was actually organizing the local community. It was just this unbelievable, organic, self-organized thing. And so that was really the, the vision behind Be Local PDX, was to be the vessel which facilitates all the amazing work that all of you are doing. Uh, within a couple years, we had gone from an idea to an organization that was a formal nonprofit that was doing monthly lunches that had 50 to 60 people every single time, that was connecting B Corp employees with similar roles in the Always Be Collaborating ABC groups. And we had three really fantastic annual events. The Build Conference, which we're at. Woo! All right, there we go, thank you. Uh, the Bee Bash, which is our annual party, Woo. Um, and our annual day of service. Um, and I think the thing that I just love to share is they've all been wonderful opportunities to bring us all together and amplify the impact and relationships we all have. 
And one thing that often doesn't get, I think, shared enough in the local Portland community is how much the rest of the country and the world looks to Portland as a model. So much of what we have done here and the board continues to do gets spread all around the country and all around the world. So give yourselves a little round of applause for your part in that. Uh, I, I wrote some stuff down, but I forgot to look at it. Uh, anyway, so um, I guess just in closing, thank you all for being here. I hope you're able to make that transformational connection today with someone else here that brings us some more wonderful impact in your life and in our world. Um, and I'd like to hand it over to my friend David Kale, my successor as board chair. Thanks, Cameron. Um, good morning, everybody. It is so wonderful to see y'all. Um, so with that really strong foundation that Cam and the original Be Local PDX board made, uh, when I came on as board chair, it was really clear what we needed to do was build some infrastructure. We needed to build some capacity and a vessel so that we could create the kind of programming and connect, connect opportunities to connect that this community really needed. So that started with expanding our board. We went to a size of 13, we went broader and deeper with our board, and we have 13 amazing people who currently serve on the Be Local PDX board, and I'd love for those people to just stand up right now and make yourself known so we can <laughs> applaud you. Thank you for your service. It's an incredible volunteer board. Um, and likewise, uh, you know, the board has been um, completely volunteer and it's been a working board. And so we also realized that we needed to hire our first staff person at the local PDX. And so last year, we hired the incredible Karen Power. Many of you know her. <laughs> Can you raise your hand, Karen? Um, and Karen was our administrative director for a year, a little over a year. Uh, she has since accepted a position with uh, Business for a Better Portland, another amazing organization. She's their interim executive director. So she's not going too far, and we're going to continue to collaborate with her as we, as two amazing organizations, try to affect really positive outcomes in this community. Um, and the board didn't waste any time finding her successor, who you've already met today. Uh, there was a great search that went on, and we, we hired Wesley Griffin. Um, you'll hear a lot more from Wes today. Uh, we're so lucky to have you, Wes. Welcome to the Be Local family. Um, and with that said, we said it's time to create a membership program. We're building capacity. We need to fund all of this. We need to pay a salary now, and we have a lot of amazing programming. So we gave companies the opportunity to become members in Be Local PDX. And I'm super proud to say that in less than a year, 30% of the B Corps that are certified in Oregon and Southwest Washington have stepped up to become members. So I want to thank all of you who have become members in B Local PDX. And if you're not a member yet, talk to Wes, talk to any of those amazing board members that raised their hand. Mina Yu, who you'll hear from later, is the membership chair. Um, she's back in the back. Mina, would you raise your hand? There she is. She'd love to tell you about all the amazing benefits of being a member of Be Local PDX besides supporting the community. And one of those um, incredible opportunities as a member is your CEO can participate in B Corp CEO cohorts. This is something that we just kicked off earlier this year. We're the only uh, Be Local that's doing this. And what those Be, Be Local CEO cohorts do is they're small groups of six to nine leaders that come together once a month, take off all their armor and their defense mechanisms and leave the technology at the door and talk about the real struggles of leading a purpose-driven company. It's not easy. There's a lot to think about when you're in this landscape of capitalism building a purpose-driven company. Um, there's actually gonna be a workshop about that later today. So um, being a member means a lot of things and your, your CEOs can become CEO cohort members as well. So I'm incredibly proud of what we've built so far um, at Be Local. It's wonderful to be in this community with all of you. And now I'm gonna turn it over to the amazing Kel Moody, the current board chair of Be Local. Of course, I love that. There has to be a little tripping happening here, right? 
Yes, love it. All right. So, I don't know about you all, but I feel like these past three years have been an incredibly massive transition. So much has changed, it feels like there was the world before March 2020 and then the world after March 2020, and it's like they don't even resemble each other in some ways, but I feel like, you know, I'll, I'll spare the details of listing the numerous crises that we've all collectively experienced and, and individually. But I think one thing that we can probably all agree on is that we have all been forced to think about a lot of things. And some of the things that I've been thinking about is who we are as humans. What does it mean to support each other? How do we show up for each other? And how do we choose to spend this limited time that we have here on this earth? You know, the B Corp movement and B Local PDX, as, as David shared, have also been through a lot of transition over the past few years. You know, we hired our first staff member, we launched our membership program, and actually B Corp certification is more popular than ever. So the power of this movement is growing, and it will only become stronger the more connected we become. So I think right now is actually the time where we really prove who we are as a community to the world. I think right now is the time to focus on building relationships, building alliances, and showing up for each other as co-conspirators to really prove that the power of our collective voice as a whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Be Local PDX is a vessel. I actually think, Cameron, you said that. It's a vessel, right? It's a vessel, it's a resource, it's a place of inspiration for building connectivity. And one of our main goals is actually to catalyze collaboration amongst the community. And we do that through various programmatic efforts. We do annual events, we do regular events. We try to create spaces for you all to come together. But I actually want to encourage all of you to take some initiative. If you have ideas about how to harness the power of our collective voice, this is the time to share those ideas. Because I think that the true success of Be Local PX actually lies in the number of collaborations and initiatives that you all start on your own without us, without our organization. Because that shows that you have all built connections with each other and feel the trust that it takes to do work together. With that in mind, I wanna encourage you to think about how you wanna show up today. How can you share your light with other people in this room? How can your uniqueness create a sense of belonging for other people here? How can the skills that you have contribute to a healthy and connected and vi vitality, and a lot of vitality in this community? And how can we all work together to create a thriving economy, environment, and culture? What else can you take that you learned today back to your colleagues, your friends, your family, to help them all think a little bit bigger? You know, the B Corp certification is an incredibly valuable framework for using business as a force for good. And I think it really helps businesses holistically think about what they can do to create a better world together. But I honestly think that the true power of this certification is actually in the community, this community, the community internationally. And we actually, I believe, have real capacity to create deep and lasting change in this community. There is a lot of power here and in the business world. We just need to show up and put the work in and do it together. So with that in mind, I am really, really excited to put the work in with you all. And secretly, I'm actually a little more excited right now just to be in a space with you all because it's been so long and my extrovert is just really giddy right now. <laughs> and I have missed seeing all of your faces a whole bunch. So 
I am really excited to, to learn from all of our speakers today and to really just be in shared community with you all. So thank you.